what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more black sales reaction so we found out in episode 7 that Madi is still alive so that was pretty cool to see I don't know how she escaped out of that blazing burning building with no burns but you know movie world <laughs> you know it's the only explanation I got for that but in any case guys I have been you know looking at certain situations when it comes on to these series man and it has been a journey it has been a journey we are coming up on the final episodes of this series and I am looking forward to it I'm looking forward to it to say the least to see what is going to be the fate of Flint John Jack um, Max and all these people right i want to see what their faith ends up being um you know it, it's gonna be a crazy final three episodes and i'm ready for it um seems like john has dig up the cash and you know went behind flint's back i don't think they know that the, the treasure is in the in the um hull of the ship so we'll see how that turns out any case not gonna waste too much time here on the intro just know guys i appreciate you guys for all the love and support that you guys have shown these black sales videos especially the ones that sign up for early access to watch black sales i really do appreciate y'all and as i said before i hope you guys stick around and keep supporting the channel even when we finish with the series appreciate y'all let's go watch the episode and i will see you guys for the review Okay, so that was season four, episode eight of Black Sales. Very good episode once again. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So the overarching theme that is coming to take over the series is, I mean, it's been a staple in the series so far. Just don't talk about it that much because I'm a big picture guy. Um, but there's an overarching theme about this is, is like the, the, the power of love, right? What it causes you to do, what it causes you to not do. It's, you know, it, 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 it does love is the kind of thing that will make you make rash decisions. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't exactly make you make decisions purely. You get what I'm saying? Like pretty much. A lot of this if you base a decision based on the you know that emotional part of you more than likely you're gonna make an irrational de decision most of the time you know what I'm saying because you're thinking about that um, situation or that person I should say right and it's not necessarily that I would say that Flint loves war I wouldn't go that far but at the end of the day, the way how I look at it and the way how I see it is that Flint is in a position right now that he doesn't want to be in. He tells him to trust him. John is not willing to, to give up Maddie's life for this war. Um, Flint kind of forced his hand now to give the order to kill him because basically seeing him do do this getting the cash off the ship uh but if they can bury it somewhere if they can bury it somewhere you got leverage you get what i'm saying it would be leveraged like they, they they probably won't be able to to kill him because it's like oh you don't know where the cash is anyway so what you're gonna do is search you're gonna search for it you probably won't ever find it and then governor not gonna give you maddie anyways so what is the situation and that's and that's what i'm saying like the conversation that max had with Anne, same situation she made the decision based on love you get what i'm saying she decided not to go along with it even though it was a simple simple thing for her to do rule from behind the scenes you know what i'm saying you basically would have a husband that's a puppet you know what I'm saying? You don't have, really have to have any obligations to him, no sexual obligations, no nothing like that. 
and everything will be cool so that's why i would ask the same thing like why would you turn that down as you know what i'm saying but she didn't want to jeopardize you know recon reconciliation with Anne, because it's like oh if you're with some dude you know what i'm saying like she she really does love Anne, and they've developed a really good relationship their chemistry is great on the show i like it um but at the same time as i said it's the overarching story of love big picture you get what i'm saying so it is it, it's, it's like you got some characters that have been through that like flint they've been through the whole love phase thing making irrational decisions um and now they're at the stage now now he's at the stage i should say where he's looking at bigger picture stuff and not just because of him because of john john is the one that brought him back into reality to help him to understand bigger picture now that john has fallen in love he's experiencing what flint went through and that's why when they were talking he's like listen man i know what you're going through i am going to try to pull you back as much as possible you get what i'm saying because you did the same for me so i'm going to try to do the same for you because we're friends you know so to see them at odds now because of this it's it's big picture versus love and i think that john is making some very irrational and i don't think maddie is going to like him for it if maddie is the person if i'm misjudging her then i will eat that l but at the same time i think that maddie is going to say what is wrong with you you gave up everybody's future for me you get what i'm saying so if she's a real one like that you know what i'm saying which i believe she is i think that's what is going to happen i think if he does get to see her he's gonna be like what are you thinking about you shouldn't have even thought of that you get what i'm saying i think maddie was willing to sacrifice herself for it because of what how she responded to the governor she was willing to die for the cause you get what i'm saying and also with the conversation that happened between the last conversation they had where she's thinking big picture now she understands that their lives her people's lives all these slaves that they're trying to save and stuff their life is way more important than just me sacrificing everything to get back one person is not it, it is 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 absolutely ridiculous it's a suicide mission if you will you know what i'm saying um you know um it, it, it's you know it, if you can do it fine you get what i'm saying if it works out well then it works out well but it's it's so risky to do something like that and i'm a big picture guy you know what i'm saying and some people might you, you know some people might ask me what if it was your mom what if it was your sister your brother and it's not just a lover hey <laughs> I to, you know these are these are stuff that i discuss with my mom all the time all the time my mom my brothers my sisters i've been like listen man if it's save the world and save my family and i had that ultimatum i'd probably save the world <laughs> it's not that i don't love my family but i'm just a big picture guy i am i don't want to say i'm a pacifist i don't really love war but if i gotta fight i will fight you get what i'm trying to say like if it's a if it's a fight situation where and a lot of people be like if you're not put in that situation you won't know what it what it is you get what i'm trying to say L like g to give a simple example like if you had kids and your kids get kidnapped and there's a ransom and they tell you not call the police would you call the police shut up okay why is this not stopping stupid alarm going off right so you know would you call the police it's a, it's a simple situation i'm not that is not big picture you get what i'm saying because it's only their lives on the line you get what i'm saying like it's only their lives on the line like i'm not gonna be like oh i'm gonna call the police and let him and let him get killed for, trying to look for them I, I, okay i guess i used a bad example because um the world is not imbalanced by that so um it's a, it was a terrible example sorry uh let me see if i can find someone off the cuff um a situation 
you know, um, say, say, you know, you're in the army, right? You're in the army. They take one of your buddies. You know what I'm saying? They take one of your buddies, kidnap him, send video, everything. They're going to cut off his head, blah, blah, blah. If you don't do, if you don't do this, that, and the other, right? What is the mission here? The mission is to go, go and get back your buddy, right? Your, you know, part of your, 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 your squad, right? The mission is to go get him back. Big picture here. If we take these guys out, say for instance, they're in a cave somewhere and the, the order is, um, there's a, there's a, a um, what do they call them again? What do they call him? Um, there's something they call him, man. It's an acronym. It's like a high target, some something of the sort. I can't remember what they what they call him. It's actually a term used in the military. Um, uh, something under the target, right? That's in that cave also. And the solution is, they're in there kidnapped. The dude that they took from your squad, your squad mate, right? The order comes down saying, we have a chance to take out this, this high target, right? High something, another target, right? The order comes down saying, we gonna bomb this cave and just take out everybody in the cave. You know what I'm saying? That's the big picture. Taking out this guy that has been, you know, terrorizing so many towns and cities and countries or whatever he's big time right and your buddy is in there the kidnap victim is in there now would the protocol be to take the risk of going in losing more men to go rescue this one guy or bombing it to take out the high target right to take out the high target or is it because that's bigger picture. Smaller picture. We got to save our comrades. No man left behind. All of that good stuff, right? What would you do in that situation? Would you rush in? Would you tell them, you know, or plead with them? Give us some time. You know what I'm saying? To go save our guy, you know? Um, the thing about it is this, this is not a movie. <laughs> this is not a movie. In real life? The minute they enter that cave and the, the guys know that they're in that cave, they're going to kill the, the hostage. So real life situation, big picture, more than likely is going to come first. You get what I'm saying? And I'm saying this based on just me. I've talked to veterans in, the, in you know, in the past and stuff like that um, and how things go based on bigger picture versus um, you know, doing things out of emotion or making decisions based on your emotion, because you get what I'm trying to say. So bigger picture always comes first in the military. It always comes first, bigger picture, like necessary sacrifice, collateral damage, all that stuff is a part of the military. So we, um, it, it's just, is like kill 20 people to save a million easy decision bigger picture right a lot of people might not agree with that um but if that's the only option you have you have to go with it so in terms of the show i don't know what's going to happen next we got two more episodes left so i'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do you know um it, it's just how it is so it's, it's john versus flint now and flint also have jack heading over there to kill him too so how is this going to end i don't know thank you guys so much for tuning in as always this is what terabyte reacts man like comment subscribe this is crazy it's gonna be a crazy final two episodes as always with with black sales thank you guys so much and peace